Uh, Tyson, yeah, I just want to ask you about uh, this week's challenge, Jacksonville State. Maybe a little bit different of an offense uh, or not. What, uh, what's your impression? Yeah, they're going to be a huge challenge. Uh, you know, Coach. Rodriguez has been coaching football a long time, very, very successful. Uh, you know, they're the 16th top rushing team in the country. Uh, I think they're uh, either the fastest or, you know, right there within a, a tenth of a second of being one of the fastest tempo teams in the country. So a lot of times you play teams that are tempo and there's a lot of passing and things like that. These are guys that are trying to run it at you. They involve the quarterback. So whatever you really kind of do in coverage, you're really – uh, in some cases, one, in some cases, two times, two bodies short in the run game. So a lot of challenges. Uh, you know, you got three steady quarterbacks. Zion Webb's been there for a long, long time. I remember recruiting Zion. Uh, a lot of experience. Uh, can obviously throw the ball extremely well, runs the ball well. Um, you know, Smothers comes in, has played really well for four or five weeks. And then, um, you know, you wind up seeing the, the young guy, the redshirt freshman, Ashton Fry, come in and bring a, bring a big spark to them the other night. Um, you know, Rick Trickett is the offensive line coach. Rick Trickett is uh, the first time I met him, I think I was 12 years old, going to Auburn football camp. And uh, he is uh, known for, you know, having great offensive lines at a, different, a number of different places. So they're going to be tough. They're going to be gritty. Uh, they're going to be disciplined. They're going to be mean. And we're going to have to be able to go play disciplined football with them. And we're going to have to be able to handle the tempo at the same time, knowing that they're going to look for explosive passes off of the offense they have. Yeah, well, I mean, every game is different. And, uh, you know, for me, I'm trying to always find ways just to win the game. And, uh, you know, some games we take the approach and knowing we may have a lighter box um, and knowing that we've really got to do a good job of making sure that we don't give up an explosive pass. Um, maybe there's an individual. Uh, maybe there's a particular matchup. So, you know, in some of those games uh, we have, we've given up more yards than I'd, than I'd like to give up rushing-wise. But if we're able to to do that and, and play the game where we can win the game, then uh, I think that, that we can go out there and, and be successful with those teams. Um, yeah, but do we need to improve? Sure, we need to improve. I, I really think from a a rushing standpoint, we've been able to do that the last couple of weeks. I think there's been steady improvement, uh, you know, really starting with the Troy game. And I think that, again, we've kind of gotten better each week with the rushing game. And um, and I think that you see our defensive line playing really, really well. Um, you know, even in the game this past week with La Tech, we felt like certainly in the first half, we were able to take some things away from them. And in the second half, they were able to, to – to hit some some runs in there on us. A lot of that had to do with more of where we were at in the game and uh, knowing that uh, we were having to play for pass first because of where we were at in the game and the clock. But uh, a lot of it's really situational. I've got to do a better job of coaching it. I've got to do a better job of um, having a, a delicate balance of pressure and being able to play some base at the same time. But I think our kids have really, really improved with the rushing game the last couple of weeks. But it'll be a huge challenge this week. Again, they want to run the ball. They want to be tough. They want to be gritty. Um, and very similar to kind of some old school option philosophies. Um, used to, you know, when you would play teams that were option football and run the game, you would spend all week getting ready for the option and getting ready for the run. And then you'd look up and five passes that hit you for 200 yards and three touchdowns. And you go, we lost the game on these three or four passes because you didn't spend enough time on it. Uh, they want to throw the ball vertical. Um, and so that's, those are the things we've got to be able to do both this week to be able to, to have a good game versus Jack State. Mm -hmm. so, just tell me about his progression this year. Yeah, Kendrick is uh, one of the smartest players I've, I've ever had and been around. I uh, can do a lot of different things. You know, I think uh, in, the, in the short amount of time, you know, that I've been here with Kendrick, I think he has started at money linebacker. Uh, he's been at star nickel for us. He's been strong safety. He's been a free safety. Uh, you know, we put him in coverage. We pressure with him. We roll him down to play linebacker. Uh, his ability to do so many different things is really a strong point for him. Um, you know, he's a guy that when we're trying to find matchups and when we're trying to find, um, you know, different situations, we're trying to find a way to get him involved. Uh, so much of 
what we're trying to do is be able to try to find people and put them at their strengths and, and you know, in some cases minimize weaknesses or minimize other matchups. But with Kendrick, he can do so many different things for you. Uh, I think he's just continued to grow and continued to, to be a good person and good leader for us. And uh, we're hoping to continue to see the success he's having, you know, on the field and off the field and in a leadership role for us. You know, it's uh, it's always interesting. Um, I think I was thinking about y'all's question earlier uh, when you asked Coach Shelton. I think um, in the old, you know, Conference USA and American Conference, the year that I was at UCF, we played for the we played in the Fiesta Bowl that year. I think we played in on Tuesdays twice. And if I I, I can't remember exactly, I feel like we only played four Saturday games that year. But we were on Mondays, we were on Tuesdays, we were on Wednesdays, we were on Thursdays. Um, and I think, you know, the big thing that you're trying to do, and, and I think Coach Hilton's done a great job of this, is just trying to get us back on a schedule. Uh, you know, the truth of the matter is I have no idea what today actually is after the last two and a half, three weeks. Uh, but in my mind, today is Monday because – we're getting ready to prepare like tomorrow's a Tuesday practice. It's a Wednesday. It's a Thursday. And uh, and I think our players are in that mindset. Uh, we all, um, you know, I think you see this with successful people in general, but particularly with with football staffs and, and programs, we are all so routine oriented. <laughs> and uh, if you get me out of my routine, I'm uncomfortable. I'm nervous. I don't like it. And uh, so we've gotten back on routines, you know, even even when we were going from a Saturday game to a Thursday and um, we got we immediately were on a Tuesday the next day. Uh, whether we liked it or not, it was Tuesday, and we had to get prepared for that. And so uh, it forces you to be, uh, you know, like I said, into your routine. Uh, I'm, I'm excited about an opportunity. Jacksonville State's a great team, like I said. Uh, having the Growing up and kind of, like I said, being around a, a Rick Trickett when I was 12 or 13 years old, this was a cool for me um, from a football perspective. Uh, you know, I'm a young GA at the University of Georgia in 2005, and Coach Rodriguez is the head coach at West Virginia, and Coach Trickett is the O-line coach at West Virginia, and they beat our butt in the Sugar Bowl in Atlanta. And uh, so uh, – all of these different things, uh, you know, matter. And so I think a great opportunity for our kids to, for our, for our young men to be on national television and highlight our university, um, I think are great things. Yeah, I think it's routine. Like I said, I think trying to get into a routine is, a, is an important part of it for me because I know I need it um, to be able to, to get into our game plan as quickly as we can and try to get them as healthy as we can. We're very conscientious of that. And, uh, you know, Coach Velkamp and Jess, they do a great job of being able to give us data and information to be able to help us with those things. And um, so for me, it's that. I think part of injuries are going to be part of it. Um, you know, whether you're playing Saturdays or a break or whatever it is, we try to play as many players as we can play. Um, we've done that, you know, for the last year and a half and build our depth. Um, and you're going to see a lot more. You know, a, a great example is a, a Karan Hayward, young guy from freshman from Jacksonville, Florida. You know, um, I don't know how tall Karan is, but it's really, really tall and uh, can rush the passer really well. And he's developing. And we've been trying to do, you know, a good job of developing him uh, since he arrived in June. Uh, he played the other night, played well. So we're trying to find as many guys like that. And Nazir Ward in the same in the same world, Reginald Allen on special teams. Uh, these are young guys and freshmen that have, um, you know, are getting their opportunity. and. You know, I don't. I don't really blink at that. I want guys that, uh, you know, we care about and that we trust, and uh, that we trust to be able to go make plays and have opportunities, uh, whether they're a freshman or a senior or a transfer or a guy that's been here forever. I, you know, at the end of the day, it's trust. So we want to be able to trust them to go out there and make plays for us. And um, you know, we were able to do that the other night. We were able to to get you know, kind of nine series ending. Um, you know, stops between three and outs and, and takeaways. And, you know, you look up and again, you've got Anthony Johnson that is able to get a takeaway at the end of the game, hadn't played very much the last couple of weeks, and he's the one that finishes it for you. So, yeah, let's play as many as we can play, build as much depth, and earn as much trust as we can.
protection problems, or is it just a function of that offense and just having opportunities for you guys? Yeah, I, you know, when I watch them, I don't, I don't see that many. Um, so I think one of the challenges that they have, as much as they run the quarterback, I'm not so sure that sometimes that if, a, if the quarterback is – Maybe running zone read if they're not, and he goes for a minus one that it winds up being a sack. I don't see 25 sacks when I watch it. Um, you know, I think that uh, they're they're going extremely fast. You know, from a tempo perspective, and um, again, I don't I don't think they have any protection issues. They move the pocket well. There's a lot of boots. There's a lot of screens. There's a lot of sprint outs, and uh, and I think they've got good receivers um, again that are that are trying to to either you know get on first downs and get first downs out of that play or trying to get touchdowns like that with explosive plays. So uh, I think they do a good job of moving the pocket. I think they've got athletic quarterbacks that, again, may just be taking tackles behind the line of scrimmage on some run plays. But uh, but I, we, we've got to do a good job of containing them. I mean, our whole world is going to be leveraging the football, getting off blocks, and tackling well. I mean, that is the whole world for us in this game. All right, thank you all.